he's not feeling good. He's just hurting. Okay, buddy. I've seen a lot of terrible things over the years, but today might just be a new low. Here, give me a um, step to I'm worried he's going to rest. Yeah. A good Samaritan found this poor dog out in the swamp, basically dying. He didn't know where to go with him, so he brought him to us, and we raced him off to the vet. These are maggots. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, buddy. The head wound. He clearly has a wound from a gunshot. And judging from all the maggots, this is something that happened days ago. Just the maggots up. Someone shot him and left him to die. Try to comb all of the maggots out because we're not going to be able to assess it with them all plugging it up in there. Watching this dog laying there suffering, it's probably one of the saddest things I've ever seen. Somebody shot a dog and left him out in the swamp to die a slow, horrible death eaten alive by maggots. This is a pretty intensive wound right now. There is only one way to describe the person who did this, and that is they have no soul. They are a monster. You know, this wasn't like somebody was just shooting and they were just like, oops, I didn't see you in the woods. Well, that was deliberate. Um, do we have a name for him? Curtis. Curtis. We can tell from the wound that he was actually shot from behind as he was running away. This isn't a case of someone protecting themselves from an aggressive dog. This was straight up attempted murder, plain and simple. Yeah, go ahead, Tosa. He's getting a little distressed. This tissue's all swollen and... Yeah. Well, the other thing, too, when you talk about feeling, it's the pit bulls, they can just take it. Yeah. So he may be feeling pain, but he is just yeah. not reacting. Despite what this dog is going through, he is being so gentle with us and so patient. He's got to be probably one of the toughest dogs I've ever met. Can I wash your hand? The doctors were able to stabilize him enough to get a more thorough look and see what's going on internally. Oh, wow. His shoulder blades broken right there. That's why it feels like that. The x-rays show he was shot from behind, hitting his shoulder blade and then the bullet ricocheted internally and exited through the back of his skull. There's little fragments all around here. But it also left behind bullet and bone fragments inside. And people, oh my god, shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm gonna be able to shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh look, he's, he's looking at it. He woke up when... I was like, he's waking up. I like your little fat face. Mm -hmm. oh, Curtis is going to have a long road to recovery, but I can also tell that he's got the will to live. Hi. Hey, the Cuban. For now, the doctors are going to make sure that he remains stabilized, and then when he feels better, they're going to attempt to remove the rest of the bullet and bone fragments. Once they've done all that, we'll have a better idea of what the future holds for Curtis's recovery. All right, Curtis. Hey, buddy. Oh, no, don't cry. Well, they're going to give you some good drugs. We will take things one day at a time, but we're obviously just glad that he's safe and in good hands now. Oh, <laughs> hi, buddy. Hey. It's a little bit different hey. from the last time. <laughs> huh? Oh, look, they got you done up. Look at you. Whoa, 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 whoa. When Tia found him, he had been wherever he was for a little while. He's very lucky. He definitely wouldn't have made it if she hadn't found him. And he's still got no feeling in his foot. Yeah, he's got an ACL injury here that we have to fix, but we had to wait for his shoulder to heal because yeah. he wasn't getting around on that. So it was the least of his worries. Overall prognosis for Curtis is great. He's been neutered. His gunshot wounds are completely healed. Do you remember me at all? Of course, he has heartworms too and intestinal parasites. But I think that once we fix his knee and enable him to be able to move that leg correctly, he'll be running around like crazy. It healed so well. Yeah. He can just walk so, okay with a foot and everything? Yep. Yeah, it's just there to keep him from scuffing. Okay. Dr. Kristen and her team do such amazing work. They basically brought this dog back from the dead. He's so chill. Yep. No, it's this is him kind of active, actually. <laughs> Curtis is awesome. He has a great personality and has been a very outgoing, sweet dog. Look at these cheeks. 
<laughs> the guy's named him after Curtis 50 Cent. Curtis? Yeah. Because 50 Cent got shot and he survived and he turned out to be a really great guy. I'm like, I like that That's name. That's the cutest thing ever. Yeah, I, said, I like yeah. that name. <laughs> Curtis. She's love me. This dog has so much love to give. How could anyone just throw that away? Not a mean bone in this body. Wow. All I love. Whoever let him go, lost out. Lost. Not only has he bounced back, but Curtis is thriving. This is him all day. Oh my God. Oh, Dad, help me in. Look at him. Oh, oh my God, Curtis. He's fabulous. <laughs> I mean, somebody just felt this dog didn't deserve to live. They made the conscious decision to point the gun and put a bullet right through him, just leaving him there to rot and die. Oh my goodness. All right, Curtis. Bye, buddy. <laughs> It's been a little over a week since I got back from Tennessee. And honestly, the whole thing was actually pretty traumatic. It was a real letdown. Whew, so hot. It is a little bit hot. Yikes. Hey! So when our vet asked me to come by to pick up Curtis, I was hoping that he could help put a smile on my face. Oh my god, you can actually walk! You know, I thought the last time I saw him that he looked great. But in looking at him now, I mean, you would never know what he had been through. So which leg was it that was paralyzed for a while? It's the back. This one. Oh, the tail. You oh, see. Oh, yeah. So Dr. Carson, she decided not to do surgery on it because he kind of fixed it himself. And he's walking on it. He's running on it, you know. Um, you got a missing half an ear, you yeah. got missing another part of your ear, you got bullet holes in you. Yeah. Dude. No, but he is awesome. Oh my god. What a dream boat. Yes. Curtis has such a mellow disposition. He's like a stuffed animal. So he's good with other dogs and stuff too? Uh huh. Great with dogs, great with people, great with kids. Underneath that gentle demeanor, he is one tough dog that's got a lot of fight in him. So not bad for a swamp dog, huh? No. Aww. No, he's hard not to fall in love with. Hmm. Aww, he's yeah. you talking about me. Yes. Curtis absolutely deserves to be spoiled with love. He really honestly doesn't have a bad bone in his body. Oh so God. I've been thinking, and I think I want to adopt him. So, oh. We've known Amy for years now. She's an expert in medical care for dogs, and it's pretty obvious that she's pretty smitten with Curtis. I have a six-year-old, and they're like best friends ever. Yeah. Oh my god! I have yeah. When Curtis was in really bad shape, Amy actually took him home to her house to be able to watch over him, and that's where her son fell in love with him. Oh my god! Really? <laughs> oh my god! He's so cute. Seeing my son and Curtis play together, um, it really does warm my heart. Curtis needed somebody to love, and JD is that boy to love him. It's, you know, they're two peas in a pod.